Shalom, shalom, Mishpaka. This is your brother, Yael Ben Yehuda, aka Tom Nikertan. I want to make this quick video to you about Malachi um, chapter 2. Because if you could get an understanding of Malachi um, chapter 3, verse 1, you have to fully embrace Malachi chapter 2. Because it's speaking of the messenger. Many people say that the messenger in um, verse 1 of chapter 3 is referring to Jesus, Yahavashai, Yehoshua, um, Yasha, um, whoever you refer to as the Messiah of the um, New Covenant. But when you look at chapter 2, verse 1, and I will really be coming from the King James Version of the Bible, um, verse 1, Malachi, chapter 2, verse 1. And now, O oh, you priests, this commandment is for you. Now, you see right here, this is Yah speaking through his servant, Malachi, to the priesthood. And the priests were not doing their divine assignment given to them by Yah. The assignment of the priest is not solely to just take the sacrifices of the people and offer it to the Most High Yah. The priest's main office was to teach truth to the people. And when I say teach truth to the people, I am talking about teaching the Torah that was given to Moshe, given to Moses by Yah. That is the priest's office, and I will show that to you through Malachi chapter 2. Hallelujah, verse 1. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory to my name. Now, we see right there, the priest of the Most High is to give glory to the name of Yah not glory to another. So if you call yourself a priest and you are exalting and lifting a, a, another name other than the name of Yah, you have to question whose priest you really are. Because the priest of the Most High is to exalt and to lift up his name. Hallelujah. Said the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you and I will curse your blessings, yea, I have cursed them already because you do not lay it to heart. What is it that the priest is supposed to lay to heart? What they're supposed to lay to heart is their assignment. What they're supposed to lay to heart is the fear of the creator's name. What they are supposed to lay to heart is there is one God. That is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And as a priest of Yah, you represent Yah to the people and you bring the concerns of the people to Yah. Hallelujah. Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feast, and one shall take you away with it. Verse 4, and ye shall know that I have sent this commandment to you, that my covenant might be with Levi, said the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him for the fear wherein he feared me and was afraid before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity and did not and did turn many away from iniquity. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge and they shall seek the law at his mouth for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But you are depart, departed out of the way you have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, said the Lord of hosts. Therefore, have I also made you contemptible 
and base before all the people, according as you have not kept my laws, but have been partial in the law. Hallelujah. So we can see if you are calling yourself a priest, if you are calling yourself a minister of the most high God, according to what you see within the Bible, as a priest, you only represent Yah. As a priest, you only fear and reverence the name of Yah. And if you are not doing those things, Yah is highly displeased with you. And Yah himself will judge you or is probably already judging you now. And the only way to come out of this predicament that you are in, if you are found doing what the priests were doing then, is to repent, return to Yah and Yah only, get back to fearing and reverencing his name and teaching the people the truth. The truth that the priest taught the people was Torah. You cannot call yourself a priest of Yah and teach people the law is no more. You cannot be a priest of the Most High and exalt another name with his name or to exalt another name in place of his. It doesn't work that way. So my people, if you are seeking knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from your um, spiritual leader, so to speak, and he calls himself a priest of the Most High, but he is telling you the law is done away with, he is not of the most high. If he is exalting another name above the name of the most high, he is not a priest of the most high. And if he is, he is falling from that covenant that he made to represent the most high only. So it is your responsibility to seek a true priest to seek a true prophet, to seek a true representative of the Most High Yah that will uphold the teachings of the Torah and will be teaching it to you. They have to teach what aligns with this book. And when I say this book, I am talking about the Tanakh. I'm, I'm talking about mainly the Torah. And that is the first five books of the Hebrew Bible, the first five books of the Old Testament. And if they are not upholding the instructions, the divine instructions of Yah, they are not a priest of the Most High. And you should not submit yourself to them. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to read this to you, also to bring clarity and understanding so you get a better understanding of Malachi chapter 3. Because it says, Behold, I will send my messenger. And that word messenger is Malak. It's the same word he used in chapter 2. When he said that his priest is the Malak of the Most High. It's, just, it's a messenger. And so you cannot say the chapter 3 is divorcing itself from the rebuke that he gave the priest. Because now we see that his true priest will come. It's just a priest that will do right. It's not talking about a divine Messiah. It's not talking about what other people say it's talking about. It's simply talking about the priest of Levi doing what they are supposed to do. And you will know that for a fact if you look through the rest of Malachi to the conclusion of it, that you have to remember the law of Moses. So come on. If you have someone that you call your priest and they are not upholding the laws, statutes, commandments, and precepts of Yah as given to Moshe, as we see recorded within the Tanakh, you have yourself a false priest. And you need to turn and seek a true priest, to seek a true teacher of this Torah, because that is the truth that is supposed to be in the lips of the priests of Yah. Hallelujah. This is your brother and your friend. Yael ben Yehuda, a.k.a. Tommy Kurtah. Shalom, love, and blessings.